Hey there, and welcome to Joystick News Video of the Day. Today, we're talking about the highly anticipated Railway Empire 2, the latest release from developer Gaming Mind Studios and publisher Calypso Media. Railway Empire 2 is the sequel to the popular Railway Empire game and expands upon its predecessor in interesting ways while still keeping the core elements of strategy from the first entry intact. The game spans 100 years, beginning in 1830, a time period referred to as the Golden Age of Steam Locomotives. The goal of Railway Empire 2 is to become the world's greatest railroad tycoon, and players will have more space in which to expand their empire. One of the most exciting features of the game is the full maps of the US and Europe, offering approximately 130 cities and 400 additional farms and mines to connect routes to. Unlike management games like Two Point Campus, Railway Empire 2 doesn't center on building up a singular location but rather on creating a sprawling territory. Gameplay encompasses both track management and city building economic aspects, with one of the main goals being to increase populations through adding train lines and new industries. The preview showcased building up a new industry, with the studio head. Daniel Dumont, buying all of a town's breweries via an auction mechanic, then demolishing them to build a distillery instead. Adding new train lines is simple, players will need to build two stations and then connect the two with the track builder, which constructs things like bridges automatically. Costs vary based on things like how hilly the terrain is, which can be offset by adjusting track height. As success in Railway Empire 2 grows, so will competition, and railroad rivals may try to sabotage train lines in various ways. However, players can fight back, hiring their own saboteurs or simply buying out another company's shares to gain control over their business and train territory. Railway Empire 2 has several different game modes available for aspiring tycoons, including the main campaign, which features six different characters to choose from, each with different perks and drawbacks. Scenarios offer more unique challenges, while custom games in a sandbox mode are also available. Cross-platform multiplayer is the final mode offered in Railway Empire 2, where players can cooperatively run a railroad empire together. As games progress, new locomotives and economic advantages can be unlocked via research, which is Railway Empire 2's version of a skill tree. However, some advances are time-locked, with only historically accurate unlocks available based on the in-game year. Players can visit the engine shed to customize the paint jobs of their various locomotives, and it has video game history lessons about each one, which is a nice touch for any train fan. Railway Empire 2 is a game made by a team well-versed in the history of the locomotive industry, which shines through in everything from its incredible level of detail to the ability it gives players to ride along with their trains if they so desire. This new title offers more options than ever before when it comes to building up a railroad business, with bigger maps, lots of trains, and many different ways to play. Players will be able to start building their own locomotive empire when Railway Empire 2 releases on May 25th for Xbox consoles, PlayStation consoles, PC, and Xbox Game Pass. That's all for today's video. Let us know in the comments if you're excited for Railway Empire 2, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming content. Thanks for watching.